Oh, what the fuck? Oh, uh, hey guys, it's TK64 here. Welcome back to more Super Mario Galaxy 2. In the last episode, unfortunately, it was only Yoshi Star Galaxy. We knocked out a star and collected the Comet Medal. In this episode, we will finally be advancing to this nice new galaxy that is available to us. And let's see what it is. It is... The Spin Dig Galaxy. Also, we have this here, interestingly. With this, let's find out. So, we call this Hungry Luma to our starship. And what does he want? Star Bits. And this one, in particular, wants a total of 300. And we have plenty. We have 198 more than what we need, so we'll be fine. This is why I said it's important to collect as many Star Bits as you can. Because if you don't, and you kind of just ignore them, you won't have enough star bits for these hungry lumas that are... These are reoccurring throughout the entire game, so it's not just here. So, we unlock yet another new galaxy by feeding this hungry luma. So, before going to the spin dig galaxy, let's actually go to this one first. The flip swap galaxy. This one is easily my favorite galaxy in World 1. To say it was be to say it's my favorite in the game is a stretch, but it's one of my favorites, and it's my favorite in World One by far. And that actually brings me to a different topic: Sky, Sta Sky Station Galaxy and Yoshi Star Galaxy. The first two galaxies, I'm actually not too fond of them. I like the first star in Sky Station Galaxy, but overall, the first two galaxies just kind of bore me, and I kind of was left expecting more. Maybe it's just because I'm not a huge fan of the Yoshi mechanics in this game in general. Sorry to Yoshi lovers. It's nothing personal to Yoshi himself, just how he's used in this game. But anyways, back to the main point of what we're doing here. If you sh By shaking the Wii Remote and spinning, as you can see, you change which color panels are available for you to land on and step on. It's a pretty interesting mechanic of this galaxy, and that's why I like it so much. It's fast-paced, intense, and fun. That's all there is to it, basically. I don't see why you would clear, um, break that crystal to get that Goomba, unless you want a couple star bits or something. I think I just killed myself. That is unfortunate, but fortunately we had a checkpoint right there. So let's do that much easier that time. Don't know why I died there. Wait, wait. Am I thinking of... Oh, shit. It's just... Yeah, when it gets to the chain chomp parts, it gets kind of tricky. But it's not too bad. Let's wait for that chain chomp. And make our way along here. And as you can see over there, we've got the comet medal. So let's grab that. And continue on our way. When I first played this game, I don't know what it was, I just died on this galaxy so many times that I even got the, like, I don't even know what it's called. It's the Rosalina, like, the Cosmic Rosalina that's called, like, the Comet Guide or something. I don't remember exactly what it's called, but fortunately only making it through that time with one death, we got the star. You got a star, I should say. And with that, that makes five power stars in our possession. How wonderful. And we can now advance to that little crystal thing. But what's this? Lu uh, Lovelace got talk to us. You brought back a star bunny? <laughs> You know the one thing in the galaxy cuter than one of those? Nothing, that's what. Har har har, did I get you on that one? No. Well, it looks to me like that cute crow wants to tell you something. Now, I believe all this bunny is going to want to tell us is that you can spin or something, but let's see. Shake the Wii Remote when you're in mid-jump. Spinning will give you just a little more oomph. How do you think I jump so high, boy -oing? Try it with me. Alright, if you insist. But yeah, like I said, it's just giving you a little tip that you honestly should know, and if you don't by this point in the game, I'm surprised you made it this far. In fact, you can't have made it that far if you didn't know how to spin because of Flip Swap Galaxy. 
Well, actually, no, that's untrue. I'm sure there's some way to get through Flip Swap Galaxy without spinning by with long jumps and whatnot. But that's besides the point. We are now going to be going on to Spin Dig Galaxy, which, as you might know, reveals a new item in this game. So, first level, Dig a Lake's Planet. And by the title of this level, our mission, you might be able to guess that this level has a boss fight. But here we are, Spin Dig Galaxy. So you might be wondering, how do we get up there? We, I just slide back down. This is ridiculous. It's unbeatable. How am I supposed to do this? Well, it's quite simple. Okay. Well, it is quite simple. Oh, here it is. This is a spin drill. If you shake a Wii remote, you can drill into the ground, and it can get you to places that you could not get otherwise by just jumping, like so. And here we are. Ack, how did you get up here? Keep an eye out for other Lumas ahead. Try and find them, too. Alright, let's go. When you go on the launch star, you lose your spin dig or spin drill. But there's going to be another one right up here that we can use. So let's see what we got. Aha. So this is just basically a puzzle to see how you're going to be able to... Ooh, there's the Comet Metal. So that will knock out the Comet Metal for this galaxy, fortunately. It's basically just... As you can see, just a very short, simple puzzle. And we are on top of this plant, or platform we could not get to otherwise, like so. So this first level here is obviously just pretty much a tutorial as to how to use the spin drill and what you can use it for. Which is nice, it's always nice to have, have a tutorial. And there's no, no point to me getting that one up, and that's actually a good point I should make. You might have noticed that my lives decreased from like 20 plus to like 5. This is not because I died like 20 times off screen. It's because every time you save the game and quit, your lives go from whatever you had to 5. Which is annoying and unnecessary, but whatever. Anyways, this is quite easy. You can just pick up the rainbow star, and with that, you make quick work of all of those enemies and get all the wops and we have time to collect some star bits on along the way. Now getting coins is kind of pointless because there are some levels, I'm just gonna say this right now, there are some hungry lumas that want coins but you will not be finding any of those on the overworld. You will only be finding them in level and your total coins don't carry over when you go into a level so don't worry about it unless you know that there's a hungry Luma that wants coins, which we won't be encountering until later. Try and find this. There it is, Spindra. So let's just go right in here, and there's a lot of coins. I think I actually saw. A lot, I think um this planet was actually in some kind of preview for this game. I might be recalling incorrectly, but I'm pretty certain. There's just something really memorable about that inside there. Maybe it's just personal experience, but I think... Hey, it's a tow brigade. It's you, Mario, right? Like our new ship? It's called a Starshroom. We're shoving off soon. Oh yeah, I forgot to introduce myself. I found this nifty he headlamp, so I'm now the tow brigade captain. But we met you in the last game. There's a pretty scary monster just past here. Be careful. Over there, Pfft. to reference Hotel Mario. Over there. Hope I'm not the only one who gets that reference. We can talk to this guy to pay some money to get a one-up or a extra light, or extra health, but I don't think I need it. So let's just continue on right here to the boss of this level, Diggleleg, which actually reminds me a lot of the boss from Super Mario Galaxy One, where it's called like Bowser Jr.'s Stompin'. You know what, I can't remember. But what he's gonna do is um, shoot those things at you, and you have to make sure you're right in line and fuck his ass! And with that, 
he takes a big amount of damage, and if you keep doing this over and over again, you'll be able to take him out quite easily. He actually stomps out his own weapons when he tries to stomp you like that, which is interesting and helpful. Oh, that's rough, especially since he just now became available to hit. Let's see if I can pull this off. No. I don't really like the... What a dick. All I'm trying to do is kill you. Come on now. What I don't really like the controls of this because it ro it rotates with the world rotating. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It's just not comfortable. I'll say that much. But anyways, two hits down, one more hit should do it. But he obviously will get more difficult in this final phase. It's not that noticeable though. Just gotta wait for him to turn over so I can get the final hit on him. And then we'll be good to go. <sighs> Jesus. And of course now that he knocked out our shit, now he's gonna be available to hit like so. Thank you very much. Good night, everybody. This has been TK64. Fuck you all. No, I'm not gonna end it off just yet. Let's get the star first, of course. Because there is no point in ending it off right before finishing the episode. That would be if right now I was like, Alright, thanks for watching, guys. Next episode, we'll be collecting this power star. Goodbye. Dur, 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 dur. No. We're going to collect this right now. You got a star! Wah wah wah! Don't know why I added that in there, but you know. I'm just feeling crazy tonight. I don't really care about shit. We are. I am almost at the end of the year. End of school year, rather. Yeah, here in Washington, we get out late. I don't get out until June 19th, which is next Tuesday. I'm recording this on. I'm recording this on Wednesday the 13th. We get out next Tuesday. I have four day, full days of school left. Tomorrow, Friday, and next Monday, and next Tuesday, and then I'm done. And that's it. So I'm excited for that to happen. <sighs> and the reason I haven't been putting out Galaxy 2 episodes as much as I've been wanting to is simply because it's the end of the school year, and I've been busy with end of the school year stuff, so... Yeah. But with that, since we have completed, gotten a couple stars, I'm going to be ending this episode off right here as I crash into my starship's nose. So thank you all for watching, and this has been TK64, and I will see you in the next episode, alright? So thank you for watching, and goodbye.